and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I make all shopping, shop with me, and DIY home decorating videos. Today's video is a home updates video. I have tons of DIY projects to share with you, so thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna be decorating my entryway, and I just have so many other little things to do around the house that wouldn't necessarily get their own video, but I still wanted to share them with you, and I thought you would also love to see them. We are in the middle of two huge home project, so I'm gonna do my best to not spoil any of that in this process, but I have two huge room makeovers or like area home makeovers coming up in the next like month to five or six weeks that you are not gonna wanna miss, so if you're excited for this home updates video and my future makeover videos, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a new video. I have so many projects to get into. We have outside projects, inside projects, painting, so many things, DIY project, and I'm super excited to get into it. So we're gonna start, I think we're gonna start outside and work our way in. I'm probably gonna have to change into something that's more like DIY friendly, cause we're getting down and dirty today, lots of projects. So if you're excited to stay right where you are, cause we're gonna get started. Okay, so like I mentioned, we're starting our projects from the outside and working our way in. I have so many projects to get to today, but the first one is a DIY that I'm really excited about. It was my whole like reason I wanted to do this video. I'm like, okay, I really wanna make that and show them that they can make it too, so maybe I'll just include all these other little DIYs that I've been meaning to do and wanting to share with you anyways. But if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I've posted these doormats before that say like, the Joyce's eventually, or the Smiths, he just hasn't asked yet. And I think they're super funny and so does Brian. He doesn't like feel pressured by it or anything. I just think it's funny to like make a joke about it. And I saw that I can make it with my Cricut. Did you know that you can make a DIY doormat with your Cricut? So I'm gonna be showing you today how you can make this doormat, but the same way it would apply for like any other doormat. I already have so many ideas for like a fall Halloween doormat I wanna make and a Christmas doormat. I feel like I'm just gonna be making my own doormats from here on out because I'm so ecstatic about how easy this looks. I don't consider myself to be the craftiest person ever, so like if I can do these Cricut projects, you absolutely can as well. I'm gonna go over everything you need for the project and then we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. It takes 30 minutes or less from start to finish to get a super awesome, adorable custom doormat that is way cheaper than if you purchased it online. So here is my finished doormat, and I'm gonna talk you through how to make it step-by-step step using my Cricut Explore 3. I'm obsessed with my Cricut Explore 3. If you're not familiar, it's a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects from hundreds of different materials. This is my first time making a doormat, and it was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I made mine a little bit differently than I've seen other people go about it. I actually used mine making a stencil from cardstock. Then you only need blue painter's tape, a liquid rubber as well, as a sealant that is all you need to make this project I started off in the design space and I always like to grab the shape of whatever project I'm actually making because I'm such a visual person that I need to be able to see it to scale I even made it the same color as my doormat that is just how visual I am and then I started laying out the words we will go in and pick out the fonts they have hundreds of fonts to choose from but I just like to get a general idea of where I want to place everything I just wanted mine to be super simple and say the Joyce's eventually in parentheses and then I went through the Cricut design space and picked from the hundreds of different fonts that they have. I tried out a few different ones until I found a cursive that I really loved and then I also went in and found just a really simple capitalized font to make my doormat. Once I got the perfect placement all there is left to do is cut out the materials. It is truly that easy. Once you hit make it in the design center, you just follow the prompts. And here I am just attaching my cardstock to a light grip cutting mat. Every single time I use my Cricut, I'm just amazed at how fast and how precise it cuts. It truly cut through this cardstock with ease. You always wanna make sure you have on the right tip, but look at that, there is the makings of a beautiful stencil. Then I just attached another piece to put Joyce's. I decided to cut it out on two different pieces. You can definitely do it all on one. I could have fit it that way, but I wanted to make sure that my stencils were big enough. That's pretty crucial for the next step. And look how good that looks. 
Thanks! If you decide to try out this project for yourself, make sure you grab these little pieces right here. They are crucial for your stencil. And now it is time to lay it out on the doormat. This is where the painter's tape is going to come into play. And I also did a couple other little tricks here to make this work. So I went ahead and cut out each of the letters. I did have to recut them a few times just because I needed more or less space for the spacing of my stencil. This part was a little bit tricky because it's just hard to tell like if every Everything is in the center so I was kind of just praying the whole time I also used a glue stick that dries clear to get the stencils to stick down more in the middle that way I got really crisp lines so you'll see me going over a couple different spots and then putting something heavy to kind of like get it to stick down onto the doormat this was honestly so easy to do I had so much fun doing this and then you just want to cover the rest of the doormat in the painters tape just to ensure that the black liquid rubber only goes goes onto the stencil and not anywhere else on the doormat. My heart is made of stone. I know it's not my fault. It's just the way it is. Love. My childhood was support. My feelings got ignored. Now I get back to now. Love. Right when I was done spraying, I decided to peel off all of the tape and the stencils. That way the line stayed super crisp and didn't seep through the paper. Once you have all of that peeled off, pick out the little excess pieces. And then I took the clear version of the liquid rubber and sprayed down the entire doormat to give it a nice seal. In case you missed it, just about two months ago, I did a DIY front patio makeover. I will have it linked down below. This whole area just needed kind of a refresh. I am planning to decorate really heavily out here for Halloween, probably in about another month or so. So get excited for a Halloween and fall decorate with me. But I just wanted to give this place a little bit of love, give it a nice sweep, clean off the tables that desperately needed to be wiped off. I do come out here and kind of like fix the pillows and stuff every day. Day. because it's Florida we get crazy thunderstorms and wind so things kind of get tussled around but overall this set and all of the furniture is holding up beautifully so because I made a new fresh doormat I wanted to give it just a little bit of love out here and then it was time to lay down my new doormat all of the items from here are from Target if you want to see it definitely go check out the patio makeover everything is linked down below and here is my new doormat I'm so happy with how it came out I feel like all of the lines are super crisp. I love how easy it was to create this on my Cricut. I've seen people go about it a few different ways, but I highly recommend trying to make the stencil from cardstock if you want to try out this project for yourself. And that is it from the Joyce's eventually. An area that I have never showed on my YouTube channel is actually our back patio. We have this awesome back screened in patio. Having it be screened in is so lovely for being in Florida because there's lots of bugs and lizards and this keeps everything out. This space is decorated with all items that we had from our last apartment and I wanted to give it a little refresh. I wanted to keep all of the same furniture because we actually really love this furniture set. It was super affordable from Walmart. I can try to link it down below, but I've never cleaned out here or really done much to it so I wanted to give this area a little bit of attention because I did just buy a brand new rug I actually bought this at daily deals which is the target salvage store in my area I can link some of those videos down below if you haven't seen me shopping there but I got this studio McGee outdoor rug for like $25 and I just knew it would look really pretty out here it does have some nice green tones and it just fit the aesthetic of our house way better than the palm leaves everything else I decided to to 
keep the same, but I did grab some other little accents and just want to freshen up this space with a little bit of decor that is still practical for being outside in Florida. I grabbed these two pillows from the Target dollar spot. Looking back, I should have grabbed way more than two. I'm not sure why I only grabbed those ones, but I'm looking for a few more just to fill up this couch and the accent chairs. And then these two candle holders, which are perfect for citronella candles. I also got from the dollar spot earlier this summer. The dollar spot had some awesome decor this summer. We also like to keep some dog bags out here because we do have three dogs and our yard is right off of this patio. In here is where we keep all of our furniture covers and we did throw some decor in here when we were moving so I decided to clean all of that out just so that our covers were more easily accessible. After this I wanted to just clean up the items that I decided to purge like old decor items that have gotten rained on and wet and just items from the dollar spot pretty much that we are not using anymore and then give this overall area a nice sweep. You'll notice those yoga mats over in the corner. Brian and I actually like to do yoga out here. It's super nice in the evenings and early in the morning out here especially because you don't really have to worry about the elements so giving the space a nice refresh will be perfect for our yoga sessions This video is just full of the unseen spaces of our house. This is our downstairs powder bath, and I definitely plan to do a full transformation of this space, most likely next year, but until then, there's a few little things I wanted to do to spruce up the space. I did pick up this soap dispenser several months ago, and I'm just now finally getting around to filling it. I just love how it matches the woven trash can that I have, kind of ties this space together. I went ahead and bought this refillable soap dispenser bottle from Target. I love the white soft soap. It is super moisturizing and I just love the pearly white color of it. Of course, I overfilled it and had to wash my hands 10 times because that is real life. And then the other project I have for this space and our other bathrooms is quickly changing out the knobs. I bought these black knobs from Wayfair and decided to quickly change them out. We do plan on changing the rest of the hardware in here once we go ahead with the transformation. But until then, this is a super easy DIY that you can do. It seriously takes just a minute to screw off old knobs and put on new ones and it completely changes the look. So I will be doing this in all all three bathrooms that we have and then once I do the transformation I will change the faucet as well as the other two accessories in this bathroom to be black to match as well as in the other bathrooms those are just not items that are at the super tippy top of my list this is a bathroom that I made over slash decorated in my guest bedroom and bathroom makeover if you missed that video I'll have that transformation linked down below as well I am just making over our house space by space and it has been so fun to take you along on the process. total Instagram verse reality moment. This is all of our like overflow decor and items that do not have a home yet, but we are not dealing with that today. We are decorating the entryway. So excited to finally tackle this. I mean, all of that mess that you just saw is basically the first thing you see when you walk into our house, but we are working on it. Eventually, this room is going to be our dining room, but I knew that these items were going here, so I wanted to get this mirror hung up and style this space. 
I'm gonna share with you a super easy hack for hanging up mirrors or other pictures like this with the help of my handy dandy and lovely assistant, Brian. He's been hard at work painting upstairs the entire time I was working on all of these other projects and I just love him for that. But first things first is deciding what height you want it hung at. This was a little bit tricky because I didn't want it too low on the wall, but I didn't want it too high off the table. So we settled with putting it here. Once you have the height, just mark where that goes and then you flip it around and put a piece of blue painters tape then you mark the holes where it's supposed to be hung on the tape peel the tape off the back of the mirror and then put the tape onto the wall we did go ahead and use a level to make sure the tape was straight and then we took the wall anchors that we're going to be using to hang the mirror because it's a pretty heavy mirror and we want to make sure it is safe and sturdy up there you just take the nails hit it into the holes and you can peel the tape off because you already know exactly perfectly where they are to be hung but I don't care about that But I got you close and kind of hoping that one day we'll get the rhythm of it I know that this trick is not new, but it will seriously save you so much time and frustration if you have never tried it out because you hang every item perfect the first time, no extra holes, and I think that the height is absolutely perfect. Now to clean up and the only thing left to do is style. in the dark like we do I just love the way it feels yeah I know it's bad but I can't resist when I look in your eyes I don't know what is real all I know is that I could go anywhere anywhere as long as you're with me oh I'm drunk and I know I went ahead and kind of laid out all of my decorating options I always really detest watching this footage back because I end up liking so many of the things that I decided I didn't like in the moment. My biggest piece of advice when it comes to decorating is don't second guess yourself and don't overthink it. And if you're getting frustrated to walk away for like 10 to 15 minutes and come back with a fresh set of eyes because it is really easy to just overthink and overanalyze things. And let me tell you guys, it is not that deep. And it's easy for me to say this all now because I'm past this moment, but decorating is supposed to be fun. It's a form of self-expression. I don't claim to be a professional. I'm just a home decor enthusiast. I absolutely love it. Plus I didn't like go to crazy in this space because within the next few weeks to months I'm going to be transforming this into more of a fall space and then also once I do my dining room makeover I'm sure that I'll end up restyling these again but here is about a million and one different ways that I could have styled this space because that's about how many options I went through until I finally settled on what I ended up with. I just needed something taller and because this is going to be our dining room I decided to put our wine decanter on this table like I said before the styling of this is going to end up changing but I just wanted to keep it pretty simple while adding some height and this is what I ended up with I love having a catch-all bowl on an entryway table I just put some of our little items in that bowl and this was how I ended up decorating the table Okay, so many projects inside, outside, and we're almost done. Brian has been upstairs painting all day long for hours. He's made a ton of progress, and I'm just gonna go upstairs and try to help him knock out two more walls or whatever he has left that he wanted to get done for the rest of the day. 
And that will be my endless day of DIY projects. But yeah, let's head upstairs, see what progress he's made and see how we can help. I also wanted to show you a before of the loft. It is painted agreeable gray. Our entire house was agreeable gray by Sherwin Williams. And if you haven't seen my other videos, we are painting the entire house Greek Villa by Sherwin Williams. As you can see here, a lot of the walls, especially in the loft and the staircase, just all around were super dinged up and just scuffed and dirty and it just needed some new life and a fresh coat of paint. Look at all this progress. So he wants to finish just these two walls and he already did. Oh, you can't see that. These three walls. Good job, Brian. Killing it. Killing it, crushing Carpenter, it. Carpenter painter Brian. Carpenter painter Brian. All right, let's knock this out. I've been chasing heights just to breathe, yeah. I need that. Take it all in now, I see what I'm asking for is just some space and some time, then I'll be all right. I've been having thoughts in my mind. Right here was where Brian rightfully tapped out. So I just went around and cut in one more time. We've been cutting in two times and then doing three coats of paint. You probably could get away at the second coat, but it still is a little bit streaky in some spots. I'm doing the second coat right here. So we did just decide to go in and do a full three coats just so that the paint is super even. We are seriously in love with this color. It's a more of a warm white, but not yellow at all. It is the perfect white color. I think it's one of the most popular colors at Sherwin-Williams this year. And we are totally loving it. So if you're in the market for a new white paint, Greek Villa by Sherwin-Williams. Well, alrighty, you guys. That is going to be it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this DIY home updates video. Be sure to let me know down below what was your favorite thing I did in this video. Was it changing the hardware, decorating the entry? Let me know what you think about that. Did you love my DIY Cricut doormat? Thank you so much again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in getting a Cricut of your own, I'll leave links to everything I used in today's video down below. So be sure to check out the links if you're looking to get your own Cricut. I couldn't recommend it more. You can seriously do endless projects. I've done tons of Cricut projects. I'll leave some of my other Cricut videos down below if you're interested in seeing what else you can make with your Cricut. But yeah, I hope you loved today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Like I mentioned, I have two absolutely massive room transformations coming up in the next few weeks and you are not going to want to miss them. So make sure you subscribe so you'll be the first to know when those videos go live. But I love you all so much. I need to go get back to work on those room makeovers. Thanks for watching today's video. See you next time. Bye guys.